Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Exchange Server 2019. In the last video, we talked about client access services. We configured Auto Discover and Outlook Anywhere in our Exchange Server and we published Exchange services to the internet so that users can access these services from the external network. In this particular video, we will be talking about Auto Discover. We will discuss what is auto discover, what are the services those use auto discover service. We will talk about service connection point and we will discuss how auto discover works in on premise exchange server from internal and external network. Before we talk about what auto discover can do for us, let's consider one example and let's understand how things used to work when auto discover service was not available. In those days, when users had to configure their mailboxes in Outlook client, they had to enter the server details manually. For example, incoming mail server and outgoing mail server that will be used to send and receive emails. But this practice wasn't feasible because for everyone, this is not easy to remember these server settings, and this is a time consuming task as well. Then in Exchange 2007, Auto Discover service was introduced. Auto Discover service minimizes the number of steps that a user has to take to configure his profile in Outlook client. If Auto Discover service is properly configured in your Exchange server, users can configure their Outlook by just providing the email address and the password of their mailboxes. They do not have to provide server settings manually. Auto Discover service will automatically detect these settings and will help users to configure their Outlook profiles. Auto Discover service is used by multiple client applications. For example, Outlook Client, OWA, ActiveSync devices, IMAP, and POP protocols. Apart from these applications, there are many other services in Exchange Server, those are dependent on Auto Discover. For example, free busy lookups, offline address book, out of office, and if you have Exchange Hybrid deployed, Auto Discover will be used for cross premises permissions, cross premises free busy, and in mailbox migration. So, if Auto Discover service is not configured properly in your Exchange server, in that case, all these applications and services will not work. When we install Exchange Server, an Auto Discover virtual directory is created in IIS. And at the same time, a service connection point object is created in Active Directory. This service connection point object contains two important attributes service binding information and keywords. Service binding information attribute stores the fully qualified domain name or the FQDN of client access services. And the format of service binding information attribute is https colon slash slash autodiscover dot domain dot com slash autodiscover slash autodiscover dot XML. Keywords attribute stores the name of the Active Directory site where the mailbox server is installed. In case of Exchange Server 2016 and 2019, this will be the mailbox server. And in case of Exchange 2013 or 2010, this will be the client access server. When a user tries to configure his profile in Outlook client from a domain joint machine, Outlook sends a lightweight directory access protocol query or LDAP query to Active Directory. Through this LDAP query, Outlook tries to locate all the available SCP objects within Active Directory. Then Outlook locates the keywords attribute from the SCP object. From keywords attribute, Outlook tries to find the location of the client access services. Once Outlook client finds the location of the client access services, it tries to connect to the auto discover URL that is retrieved from service binding information attribute from SCP object. When you create an SSL certificate for your exchange server, you need to make sure that autodiscover.domain.com is added under subject alternate name of that SSL certificate.
so that the communication over this URL can be secured, else auto discover request will fail. From this URL, Outlook client will retrieve the profile information in the form of XML file that is required to connect to the user's mailbox and to access other exchange services. Then Outlook client will connect to the mailbox server using the HTTPS connection and the Outlook profile will be configured. If auto discover service URL is configured for your exchange server, in that case, the auto discover query will resolve on this particular step and the Outlook profile will be configured successfully. But if auto discover URL is not configured in your exchange server, in that case, the auto discover query will be redirected to the SRV record and the auto discover service will look for an SRV record in your active directory. And from SRV record, auto discover query will be redirected to the mailbox server and Outlook client will get the XML file that is required to configure the Outlook profile. And in case if SRV record is also not configured, then auto discover query will fail and user will not be able to configure his profile in Outlook client. If a user tries to configure his profile from external network or from a non domain joint machine, the first lookup that is SCP lookup will fail because client is using external network. Then Outlook will try to locate auto discover service by using the domain name system or DNS. Outlook will use the domain suffix from the email address of the user who is trying to configure his profile in Outlook. For example, if user's email address is user at office365concepts.com, Outlook will extract office365concepts.com from the email address and will reach DNS using two predefined URLs. The first URL that is HTTPS domain.com slash autodiscover slash autodiscover.xml. This URL will fail because we haven't published any CNM record or autodiscover record with our domain name. So query will reach to the second URL that is HTTPS autodiscover.domain.com slash autodiscover slash autodiscover.xml. So now you need to make sure that you have a CNAME record published for auto discover service in public DNS that is pointing to your on premise mailbox server. In case of exchange 2016 and 2019, this will be the mailbox server. And in case of earlier versions like exchange 2010 or exchange 2013, you need to point CNAME record to the client access server. With the help of CNAME record, client will be redirected to the mailbox server and client will get the XML file that is required to connect to the user's mailbox. And for any reasons, if auto discover service is not working in your exchange server or it is not configured, then query will be redirected to the SRV record and client will try to find the XML file using the SRV record. First, let me show you how you can verify the service connection point object in Active Directory. You will go to Active Directory Sites and Services. In Active Directory Sites and Services, click on View and then click Show Services Node. Expand Services. Go to Microsoft Exchange. Expand your domain. Then go to Administrative Groups. Exchange Administrative Group. expand servers, expand exchange, and then go to protocols, and then click auto discover. Here you can see service connection point. Right click on this object, go to properties, attribute editor, and then let's look for service binding information. This is the attribute. You can double click on this, and here you can see the value. It says HTTPS autodiscover.office365concepts.com slash autodiscover slash autodiscover.xml. You can also check keywords attribute from here. This is the name of the site where this mailbox server is installed. So this is how you can verify the service connection point in your on-premise environment. 
There are multiple ways to verify if auto discover is configured properly in your exchange server or not, or if auto discover is reachable and can be resolved from internet. The first way is you can go to remote connectivity analyzer. Go to exchange server and click outlook connectivity. You need to fill these details. First, you need to type an email address of your exchange server, on-premise exchange server. Here you will type the domain and then username and then password of the user account. and click perform test. So this test will verify the auto discover service and it will tell you if auto discover is reachable from internet or not. The other way to test auto discover service is you can configure outlook profile for a user either from internal network or from external network. So let's configure one profile. Go to mail. Give it a name. So the profile is configured for the user. And let's start Outlook. And let's go to test email auto configuration test. Here we will type the email address of on premise user. We will add password and we will select only use auto discover. Click test. Now this particular wizard will test the auto discover. So under log, we can see that the Auto discover has been resolved on autodiscover.office365concepts.com URL. And if you go on results, we can see all the URLs. Those are retrieved from the auto discover XML file. You can see the internal and external OW URL. You can see the MAPI URL. And here you can see the SSL is configured. That means this communication is going over the SSL certificate. Apart from that, you can see OOF URL, out of office URL, offline address book URL, unified messaging URL. And here you can see the authentication package that indicates what type of authentication is being used for this Outlook client. So it shows negotiate. That means either NTLM or Kerberos being used to authenticate this particular client. We will talk about these authentication types in the next video. So things will be more clear. Apart from that, you can see all other URLs. You can go to XML file and you can find all the information from here as well. So this is how you can analyze and test the auto discover results. In the next video, we will be talking about Outlook Anywhere and Mappy over HTTP. So that is all for now. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.